Well, that was creepy. <laughs> what is it about the cat eyes? I'm not really a cat fan. But that cat kind of cute. So this is Stray. Um, this was released a couple of days ago. And it's free if you have the extra or higher tier on the PlayStation Plus service. It's about an adventure puzzle type game involving a stray kitty. So apparently it's an indie-ish title. It's only sort of between four and seven hours long. If you just stick to the main story, we may as well go for the platinum. Apparently it's fairly easy. So here is the playthrough. Hope you enjoy it, guys. As I said, it's not really my type of game I go for, but a few of you reached out to me and said, please play Kitty Simulator. <laughs> so here we are. If it's going to let us customise our cat, it's already going to get an extra boost in points in my review. It might just be the ginger tabby, no matter what. What? That's pretty cool. And it feels like a cat. I know that sounds silly, but it feels like you're playing like a cat. Reminds me a bit like Biomutant if Biomutant did it properly. Ah, look at the little kitty. Perfect. <laughs> Puns will be flying in. Bioviewing starts as well, similar sort of area. Inside the wall. Are we going hunting? There's a mass? Maybe a piece of cheese or two. Up on this as well. 
pretty cool. Scratch in. That actually feels really satisfying. It feels really like tense and like you're dry, actually dragging your hands through the bark. It's really hard to explain, but it feels amazing on the dual sense. Come on, my kitty lovers. It's stripped. It's like the Aristocats. Thomas O'Malley. O'Malley the Alley Cat. Everybody wants to be a cat. Quite smooth, quite smooth so far. Basic controls. But fairly smooth. Oh, that one's glitching out. Another drink. Very satisfying, love it. Simple, yet satisfying. So relaxing. You can imagine tech demos being like this. I'd love to just play a game where you just do this, like just different levels, just exploring. This is probably what you're going to do in this game with a few puzzles sprinkled in, but it's very relaxing. Hang on, where did they go? Anyone under there? He could be a she, who knows? Could be a feline, feline.
first we're gonna be there. Dead city. The hell? Don't like the sound of that. I've got to collect some water. I'll take it just in case. I've got a feeling I'm going to need that. But I love that. That's pretty cool. Well, I've got a feeling these things are going to be eating me pretty soon. There's the robot. Oh my god. 
god. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Leave me alone. Suckers. Zigzag, but it's still it's still happening. Stuh. Zigzag my bullbags. Anger is an ugly emotion, unbridled rage, even more so. And when it bubbled up inside me, I channeled it the only way I knew how. Oh, shit. Cow, it's got like homing, it's got like a homing beacon. Fuck. <laughs> nah, no, just I'm doing something wrong.
jump over there. Me. How? Nobody can catch this cat. Thomas O'Malley. Down then. Oh my god, straight away. Who came up with this trophy? Whoever came up with this trophy, I hope you step on a Lego. They're so annoying. They're so fucking annoying. <sighs> Infuriating. So I'm going to get the pain over now. I'm going to peel off this plaster straight away. I wish there was an auto run button. You just press the button and it just runs by itself. So I just have to worry about the left stick. It's just a weird, awkward setup. You've got to hold R2 whilst pushing forward on the left stick, whilst also trying to zigzag with the left stick. And I'm no stranger to these controls, but whoever came up with this trophy, you're worse than the From Software guys. You're the same level of sadistic as the guys that came up with the Goat Simulator trophy. Tappy Bird or whatever it's called, Tappy Goat, Flappy Goat, that one. God, this is getting messy. The sweat. The sweat. Ah! sweat. The sweat. The sweat. Oh, how? Right, I need to. Right. And that's it. Okay, so when I get to that corner, I need to go left. What I keep doing is running into the blobs, which I think is causing the problem. I need to stay away from the blobs. My thumb is really sweaty. Like that. Just ran straight into it like an absolute toss piece. Oh, it's an easy plan. Yeah, I don't worry about it. Oh, fuck me. Did you see that? These blobs can die. Whoever came up with this trophy idea is sadistic. You need help. It's not easy. Not easy at all. Fuck. I'm weaving. I've seen a cat move like this. Yes. 
suckers. Oh, you maybe you have. You bitches. <laughs> Stay away from them, maybe. Stay the hell away, suckers. Fuck me. I don't know how I got away with that. But I did. Stuck on way, hello, see you later. Oh, me! Get in, my kitty! Oh, yeah, never seen a fur like this. No! No, I was right near the end! I was right near the end! <laughs> Fuck! No! I was at the bottom of the stairs. Fuck, that was the winner. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Fuck. Come on. Think about when they taught you in uh, cat school not to get chomped on the ass like that. Oh, that was the winner. I was so close. I was at the bottom of the stairs. That was it. That was it. Attempt number what is this? Six distant people. I'd rather get slapped around by a boss in Elden Ring. It's frustrating. in the city. Oh, it's done. I hate that trophy, guys. Whoever came out with that trophy, you seriously need to step on a Lego. There's something wrong with you. Change the settings back now.
of it. Surely. Or oh, just jump straight into the vent. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Whoops. We're in the flat. skills. See this stuff dotted around the room. Clever, very, very clever. Good little puzzle. code. This cat's in the matrix. This looks like Neo's apartment, doesn't it? Follow the white rabbit. There's another one. Love that. Um, there's 
see any of them. Kitty, kitty. Aha. There we go. Put that one in there. Put that one in there. Nice. Tomb Raider in Cat World. Star Wars. They've got the movements down to a T there, the cat movements. Very on edge.
sick. Looking for a code. I see no code. Oh, that'll do it. Three, seven, four, eight. game's actually pretty cool. Glad I took up the persuasion. Oh god, not these things again. Piss off. Not to chance. So oh, look. It's a person. in the slums and there's a robot person sweeping the floor sure it's fine
Smith. I read that. Mine is Bill Smith. Ridiculous. Momo. The world's gone digital. It's all gone cyberpunk. Scratch your car a bit, guys, if you don't mind. Outside, aren't they? You like me? There you go. How do I get it off? <laughs> Please take this off me. Oh, the controls are all inverted. What about this? Okay. I'll have a Twix and an orange Fanta, please. Energy drink speed 2k. What? Ooh, we're safe. Got a music sheet. Guardian's keeping him hostage, I think. I don't think he's, he's as nice as he's letting on. Mm. 
478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. Jeez. If you bring me some electric cable, I can make you a poncho. You inspire me. Wow. myself a uh, monster. This is what cats do.
some of it. Transceiver went down. They're in a place called Midtown and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. Well, love it. Someone ain't ordered tuna. Thank you. 
machine. <laughs> Some sort of drama. Go on, Luz. Tell her, yes, yeah. <laughs> nice. Fun little trophies. Apart from that one where you've got to run from the damn bog eyed robot things. Hate that. Still need to stand on a Lego whoever designed that trophy. What is wrong with you? Side note, guys, it's raining today. It's 21 degrees. It's actually quite cold outside with a bit of wind, and I can't tell you how happy I am.
notebook. Almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate. Rats, right? As if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Okay. Let's get out of here. doing there. It's me of my work equipment. Fuming. Absolutely fuming. post-apocalyptic in the outside world, I reckon. No, I've got to leave. Nice. What's that? 
So we're going to go back to uh, Morusk. Here's all your music sheets, good sir. Final Fantasy 8 when you go into the time. Lovely. Very good.
I think that's pretty much what they are. to get intense. Bacteria that went out of hand, basically. Mm -hmm. Smells like Resident Evil. Thank you. 
Uh, we've got to get that barrel out. Glitched. Couldn't do anything with the door. As agile as me. Bye, fuckers. Yeah, nice. Kitty got skills. Oh. 
That is the first half of Stray. In the next part, we're obviously going to be finishing it up, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's something that I have taken to quite well. As you know, I'm not a massive fan of cats, but this one is all about adventure, puzzles. It's quite chill as well. I love the music. I love the atmosphere. It's got that cyberpunk type of feel to it as well, which is something new and fresh to a game that is welcome. It's an indie title. It's one that's come out the last few days. And a lot of people are talking about it and meowing about it and i can see why it's really really good so join me for the second half guys i will be doing a platinum on this one this is the first part second part will be finishing the game completing all the trophies and then the live stream that will follow it will be a platinum live stream where we have to do a full run through of the game in two hours or less so that's going to be a tough one but that'll be done live so join me for that one as well hopefully you guys did enjoy it never get used to the cat eyes it's freaky they're possessed they're weird but great game thumbs up for me hope you guys enjoyed it as well i'll see you in the very next part peace